Very good morning. So now we know how to estimate uh, TPM uh, in a Markov chain analysis, how to estimate transitional probability matrix. That is what is called as TPM. This we really know how to estimate it. Okay, we have seen it. But now in this small class, uh, you know, small class stands for very short duration class. We'll see how to forecast using TPM. Okay, the transitional probability matrix. We know it very well what's the purpose of it. It helps in you know telling us the retention. Uh, for example, if you're dealing with export data, then how much of India's export shares are you know, retained by importing partners? Okay, for that we need diagonal elements. And then if you are looking at uh, you know row wise shares and column wise shares, with that we'll be able to say how much of the shares have been you know diverted to other countries or how much of the shares have been gained by other countries respectively. So this is what we clearly know. But this uh, you know class is all about how to forecast using TPM. So as I told you how to forecast using TPM, what we need is we need present year exports. This is the first thing. Why present year exports? Because we know what Marco chain is all about. Marco with Marco chain will be able to predict future with the help of what is present. Okay, we are not concerned about the past data. Okay, the past has got no role at all. The present decides the future. So, for example, if you have data of 2019-20 wheat exports from India, then if you have to predict 2020-21, uh, then using the present year data, that is 2019-20, we are predicting the future data. Okay. Then obviously we need TPM, the transitional probability matrices, TPM. And then you, we have to see this formula. Okay, you can, can you see this formula over here? It is BT is equal to B naught into T. Okay, uh, so this T is the TPM, transitional probability matrix. B naught is the base year exports, that is the present year exports. Okay, and then BT is the export uh, exports, which we are going to predict. Okay, as you can see here. And then uh, when we obtain BT, then we can easily predict BT plus one is nothing but uh, BT plus one minus one, that is BT into T. For example, if you are getting uh, the exports for the, uh, for example, using 2019-20, we have obtained exports for 2020-21, right? Then we can predict 2021-22, okay, using the exports, that we have predicted of 2020-21. Similarly, like that, we can predict uh, using this TPM, we can make predictions for five years. Uh, three to five years is feasible because uh, we know, especially regarding exports, because of uh, geopolitics, we don't know how much they are going to change. But certainly, apart from export predictions, we can also make we can also make uh, you know predictions in uh, cropping pattern. Okay, which will have finite results when covered with results. And then uh, you see here what formula we are going to use. We are going to use M mult matrix multiplier. Matrix multiplier. You see here array one array two. So it's an array formula. In Excel, uh, we can use Excel for a number of functions. One function is we can perform constructively array. Okay, so this array type function we are going to perform using the formula M mult. You see how. When we are going to execute <clears throat> ml function, we have to select the entire row. You see here, for example, if you are able to see numerals over here, okay, I'm talking about exports of countries, uh, export of India to other countries. For example, India's exports to country one, country two, country three, four, five, six, seven, right? We have uh, a row. We have range exports in row. If this is the base year exports, okay, the one in which you are not able to see it because I want to present all this in one slide. Okay, so this is the basic export, and we are predicting the future export. So we have to select the entire space, the entire row where we want the future exports to be, and then you have to go for M mult, then array one and array two. So what we'll have in array one, in array one, we'll be having the basic exports. We'll be selecting all this together. For example, this B1. So B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7, B8. So from B1 to B8, you have to select. Then comma, whatever array two. Array two is what? Is your T. That is your TPM, transitional probability matrix. So you are selecting uh, array one and array two. You see something like this. 
you have selected the entire row where you want the future exports to be and then you are selecting the present year exports that is base year exports and then you are selecting the tpm so after this since this is an array formula in X, in excel we can execute only by pressing control shift enter together so this is one you have to shift you have to press control shift enter together then only this function will be executed otherwise you won't be able to get it okay so in this short class we'll be seeing what is present year what is future exports uh, using tpm for that we need present year exports and then we need tpm the formula is very simple b not into t b not stands for the present year exports or base exports and then we have t which is the tpm transition probability matrices and then we are going to use ml the function in excel is an array function so what you're going to do is you have to select you know the row where we want our future exports to be because at a time we are going to get the future exports of all the countries so together we have to select and then we have to select the base exports of all the countries and then the future and then the tpm then we have to press control shift enter together right. okay so now this is what our tpm is we are able to get this tpm right so let this be our tpm let me expand it further. Okay. So if this is a TPM and this is, you can see it clearly, 2019-20. This is our base exports. So we have base exports and then we have our TPM. Okay. Right. Now let us predict future exports. For example, we have exports of 2019-20. Let us predict for 2020-21. When we are breaking for 2020-21, let me see what has gone wrong. Okay, now here so we are going to execute it so we are we have the data of 2019-20 let let this uh, let us call this as hypothetical you know data and we have to find uh, we have to forecast export of 2020-21 as i told you we have to select this entire row together okay entire stretch together where we want our future predictions to be we can also okay this is more fine. I don't know why it is breaking, but we have a second tier. So here you have uh, your base here exports. Okay. Similar to this, we are selecting this entire stretch. Okay. When we are selecting this entire stretch, so this is fine. Okay. So upon selecting, what you do is now you go, go for the formula. Is equal to m -mult, m m u l d so this is your matrix multiplier it will ask you what is your array one as array two so array one is your base exports okay base year exports or present year exports you're selecting this together right and then comma array two is your tpm okay so your transitional probability matrices which you have estimated it okay for example this is the tpm of uh, india's wheat exports to major trading partners in post WTO era, that is from 2004 5 to 2020. So, this is the DPM of that. Okay, now we are selecting this. Hope I have selected correctly. Yeah, fine. 
and then let us close this one. Problem. Let me try again. So we have the base of exports, and then we are selecting the TPM, and then we're closing it, and then Control Shift Enter together. Okay, I think we have obtained it. See, we have get, now we have obtained the future exports, right? In 2020-21, using the present year exports, and then uh, by keeping the TPM over here, executing with Excel function, we have obtained the future exports. So this is what a future export is. There is some streaming problem it seems, but this is what the future export is, for example, less rich. And then if you want to obtain for 2021-22, then we have to perform a similar exercise. We have to select the entire row where we want our future exports to be. Then going with the same matrix multiplier formula, select the now this is your basic exports, right? So this is the actual export, and this is a predictor export. In the case of 2020-21, 2021-22, uh, what we're doing is we are using the predicted exports of 2020-21 as the basic export. No matter what, we are keeping the TPM as such. Again, Control Shift Enter the key. Control Shift Enter. Only then we'll be able to execute it. Okay. Control Shift Enter. Okay. We'll try again. Matrix multiplier. Selecting the predicted exports of 2020-21, and then. We are going to select the interior matrix TPM and then let's close it. Control Shift Enter. Yeah, we have it. So like this, we can predict uh, future exports also. We can do it for three years, five years. That would be appropriate. But if you are doing it for ten years, uh, it won't be good because uh, we cannot predict exports to that extent. To some extent, uh, you know, exports of you know, future exports of first year, second year, third year can be predicted with the help of the last year exports, but we cannot extend it, you know, for more than five or six years because of the changing geopolitical conditions, which we have to consider it, right? And now here, the interpretation is more important, even though we have a good finding, we can interpret it only with the help of the theory which we have. So we should have some economic theory, hypothesis, whatever you call it, and that will help you in interpretation, okay? So with this, I think it is clear now for us. Let me stop this recording. Okay.